So here I am again with the Top Don Phoenix Plus. I am checking it out on a couple different cars here in the shop. You'll see a video here that I'm trying it on a 2017 C-Class convertible. It works pretty good going through the scans and doing the health report and whatnot. Um, it's pretty easy to use, just plug it in underneath the dash. And like every other scanner, you can just run the uh, system scan. It automatically pulled up the VIN and then ran away with the health report. And then you can, of course, email that report to yourself and or print it out if you have it set up for a printer. All right, and then shortly after that, what I had done was pulled in a 2022 C300. And I decided to try it on that since it's fairly new. A lot of the companies are a little behind on the software for newer cars, right? So I thought I'd give it a shot with that. But the important part that I want to talk about here is the system topology or topology or topology. I'm just joking. Uh, so basically what the topology is, is you're looking at the actual CAN data bus or the communication data bus, whatever the different manufacturers call it. Pretty sure they'll call it CAN. But essentially, it's showing you what modules are all on the same can so you know what is involved with a certain can so let's say you couldn't talk to anything on the chassis you know that you have a problem with one of those modules on the chassis that's why you can't talk to the can right so topology is pretty cool it's something that uh they've been coming out with with the newer models i'm not sure what year they introduced it um, it's kind of hard to find that information but it didn't have it on the 2017 when i scanned it but it does have it on the 2022 when I scanned it. So somewhere in the late teens or early 20s is when they started to come out with that kind of thing, right? Now, me as a technician, when I'm using topology, uh, essentially it shows you what modules have fault codes so you can quickly tap on it and it shows you what the fault codes are, right? So let's say you're dealing with an issue and there's a bunch of different faults. If they're all in the same can and you can talk to it by reading the modules, and you know that you're limited to something with the issue with the can. So it's another diagnostic tool to help lead you to the area that the issue is at, right? So it's pretty neat. Now, again, with this being a 2022, a lot of modules are grayed out, which means it doesn't find them. It doesn't really bother me because normally when you buy something like this, you're not really working on the brand new cars, right? It's usually a couple of years down the road when they're out of warranty, um, or maybe it's your own car and you're still under warranty. So I'm sure they'll update it sometime soon. I will let them know myself. The, the ability it has to read of this 2022 so that way they can say okay well you need to work on that kind of software right but uh, as far as the topology the best way I can put it is it's like if you were to draw on a piece of paper right all the modules connected for the wiring diagram because wiring diagrams are kind of tricky to to filter through to see what modules are connected to what and the can data bus sometimes it gets kind of overwhelming it's basically like a roadmap, all right? It shows you where all the modules are listed on what CAN data bus. So here we got the safe, which means everything to do with safety and or traction. Then you got body, which is everything that works around the car, like electronically. Audio, it's all the audio stuff, obviously. Uh, doors, all the door modules. There's a, there's a lot that's on here. So uh, it might be something to interest you. It's just, this is, this is newer and there's a learning curve to it. I'm not gonna say there's not, it's a learning curve for me too. But essentially all we're doing is instead of doing all the lists of all the modules and scrolling to see what we're gonna look at to diagnose, Topology basically says, here's all the faults on that CAN data bus, right? Or all the faults with the modules that are tied into the same CAN data bus. So uh, I'm still getting familiar with the scanner. So I'm gonna give out little videos, short videos here and there as I get acquainted with it, to kind of give you guys some information as to what the scanner entails. All right, so uh, I hope this helps at least a little bit more insight to the Top Down Phoenix Plus. Uh, much like other scanners, it does activate things. You know, you can see that anywhere. I might show it in a video down the road, but as of right now, I'm more so trying to see what models it works on and the functionality of those models. How in depth can this thing go? All right, so. Uh, you know, subscribe to the channel if you want, uh, you know, it's up to you, but uh, I'm gonna be putting out a lot more of these on the Top Down, Top Down Phoenix Plus. Um, I got a lot planned for it. It's just, uh, it's just finding time to use the thing, you know, cause I do work a, work a day job. So um, hope you guys get a little bit of information out of this and I'm gonna make sure that I fill you in on what this scanner is capable of in its entirety, all right? But it's gonna take some time. Like I said, I'm gonna put out little videos here and there. So uh, stay tuned, you know, tune in next time. 
But uh, my name is Lou. You guys take care.